Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my October favorites and I wanted to start off with the month of October as a favorite since October has always been my favorite month. It's the month that my husband and I got married. I find that it is just my favorite time of year as we're coming into fall, the leaves are changing, it's finally getting cool outside and I get to pull out all of my cashmere and sweaters and scarves and things that just make me feel cozy and warm and um, at the same time there's a nice cool breeze and the things are just crisp and wonderful and and I just love everything about fall. So fall had to be my first favorite for the month of October. My second favorite for the month of October are long cardigans. Um, and I'm wearing one right now. This one is from BP. I picked it up in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's a really oversized, long leopard print cardigan. I'm obsessed with leopard print and I'm so excited that it's really trending right now for fall. And um, I feel like leopard never goes out of style, but right now I'm just, loving everything that's available in leopard print and I'm stocking up on all the leopard I can get my hands on. So this sweater is super soft and cozy and I'm just absolutely been loving it this month. And on a not so wonderful note, um, in the fall my skin tends to get a little bit drier and this year in particular, for whatever reason, getting older, hormones, change of everything, um, I have felt like my skin has been really dull and just needs a little bit of something to give it some life. And um, I've got a few products that I have turned to that I've been loving. The first one is from Bobbi Brown. It's the Bobbi Brown Extra Bear Glow. And I've talked about this product before. It is um, something that you use in addition to your moisturizer or as your moisturizer. And I put just like a little pump like this. I typically will apply this with my makeup. So if I'm using a tinted moisturizer or a foundation, I'm trying to see if I can get you to see the sheen of that without um, my ring light kind of screwing up what that looks like, but it gives your skin just this beautiful sheen and I'll use it, like I said, with my stick foundation from Bobbi Brown or my tinted moisturizer and it just gives my skin that little bit of an extra glow um, that I find my skin really needs during this time of year. And speaking of glow, another product that I have been obsessed with this month from Bobbi Brown, this is the um, Bobbi Brown Extra SPF 25 Tinted Moisturizing Balm and it comes in this little pot. Um, this is the second time I have tried this product. The first time I think I got the, the shade medium and it was a little bit too dark. This time I went for the light to medium tint and it is kind of perfect. Um, it's coming up really light on camera but it is actually a nice um, kind of warm tone, beigey tone, which is perfect for my skin. I have been using it, I don't know if you can see the little indent in there, but I've been using it with the rounded end of my beauty blender, and I just sort of dab it on all over my face, and then I blend it in with the other end of the beauty, the pointed end of the beauty blender. Um, that way I can kind of get it in around my eyes and everything like that. I do follow it up with corrector and concealer, but um, for the most part, this is just like a, combination skincare slash makeup product that just evens out my skin. It's like a tinted moisturizer, but with a little extra nourishing moisture that you apply on your face. And it just really helps to kind of amp things up a bit. So I've been really loving this product. And another beauty product that is an oldie but goodie, I've talked about it on this channel so many times, I'm wearing it right now, and I always start wearing this again in the spring and also in the fall. It is my um, Chanel Coco or Rouge Coco Shine Lipstick in the color Boy number 54. I don't even have to look at the label to know it's number 54. Um, they have actually discontinued this product, and I think the last time I talked about it, I mentioned that I was gonna pick up a new one. I still haven't done that because I had so many tubes of this. Um, as soon as I heard that this was um, going away, I bought like every one I could find in the stores. So um, I have like four tubes. <laughs> I've got this one, I've got two in my drawer, and I've got one in one of my cosmetic cases somewhere. But anyway, I love this color. I love this formula. I love everything about this. I don't know why they had to change it. However, um, I am going to give the new one a shot at some point and um, in the meantime, I just continue wearing this. I feel like it's my perfect nude for every day, nudie pink color, and I just can't get enough of it. And my last beauty favorite for the month is the perfume I've been wearing nonstop since I purchased it, and I talked about it, I think, last month as well. It's my Baccarat Rouge 540, and this stuff is amazing. I am planning on doing a full um, perfume collection at some point soon, or fragrance collection, and I'll talk about the notes and all of the perfumes, and 
what they all make me think of and when I like to wear them and all that good stuff. But what I can tell you about this is that it is like no other fragrance that I currently own. It's a little bit sweet, very sensual, um, and just, it's just really different and I absolutely love it. And I've been getting so many compliments and um, I think whenever I introduce some new notes into my fragrance wardrobe, um, it kind of seems to really last longer on me and I can smell it a little bit more because my nose hasn't been sort of desensitized from wearing it every day. But um, this one is still going strong. I'm absolutely loving it and it is definitely a favorite for the month of October. So this month I picked up two new pairs of shoes that I have yet to wear but wanted to show you. The first one is, trying to find the branding here, is from a company called Veja. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with these. They are a pair of sneakers and I was on the hunt for a pair of just basic white sneakers that I could wear with kind of my dresses and pantsuits and things that I wear to work um, and something I could kind of like walk from my car and into my building when I'm wearing heels and still look somewhat stylish and put together. And um, all of my kind of Nike workout sneakers, I would say are more like running shoes and they don't look particularly great <laughs> with my work clothes. But um, I've seen a lot of bloggers and people um, on social media in general just wearing um, these all kinds of white sneakers and I had my heart sort of set on a pair of Adidas sneakers. And when I went to look at them in Nordstrom, um, I came across this other pair and I've heard about this brand and uh, these sneakers were very similar in style to the Adidas ones, but um, I just tried, I tried actually a different pair on. I tried the Veja V10s, which are the ones that are all the hype, but um, they weren't the style that I really, really wanted, which are these. Um, I saw these in the men's, but they didn't have them in the women's. So long story short, I ended up ordering them and had to wait for them to come from France, but they are beautiful. So these are my Veja Esplar sneakers, which like I mentioned, are very similar to the um, Converse that I had been looking at. And I just absolutely love them. They are made um, of recycled, let me read to you what they're made out of. Um, it says, Veja sneakers are made of ecological materials, thick organic cotton canvas, recycled plastic bottles, and recycled cotton. Um, outer soles are made of fair trade rubber, sourced in the Amazonian forest, the only place on earth where rubber trees grow in the world, and it says made in Brazil. Although I believe they're a French company, and I know I had to go to the post office to sign for these, and it said it came from France. So in any case, um, absolutely love these sneakers. We'll see if they're worth the hype once I start wearing them. Um, it always feels good to be purchasing from an ethical brand. I just think I made the right choice with these. And my other shoe purchase comes from a company called Dear Francis, which um, I just was introduced to, I think last year when I started seeing a few of the YouTubers that I follow, purchasing some of their shoes and showing them on their channel. And I ended up finding a pair of booties last year that I held off because it was kind of late in the winter when I found them and decided I wanted them. Um, and when I saw this particular pair, I knew they had to be mine. So um, Dear Francis makes, um, I think all of their shoes in Italy, just beautiful craftsmanship, high quality. They pride themselves on being kind of a slow fashion company, um, making things that are durable and beautiful and will last you a lifetime if you take care of them. And I am just obsessed with these shoes. So these are the Spirit Booties, and I'll take them out of the box so you can see them better. <laughs> um, and I just love them. To me, this is like perfection in a boot. These are in the Mock Croc Black Leather. I love the leather on these, just soft and beautiful, super luxurious. I love the block heel. I love the style. I love the rounded toe with the um, kind of stitching detail down the center. It just really elongates your leg having this kind of higher um, ankle and I love that it zips on the inside so it's really easy to take on and off. These are just like the most high quality, beautiful booties I have ever had and I am super obsessed and definitely will be purchasing more from Dear Francis in the future. Um, here is just a little card that came 
with the dust bag and the beautiful packaging um, that these are made in Italy by skilled artisans using only high-grade Italian leather and European textiles um, and they're known for quality precision and integrity and I just absolutely love them so they're all about loving your shoes and getting the wear out of them and that is what I'm trying to do with everything I own um, going forward I'm really trying to be more mindful of my purchases where I'm purchasing from and um, getting things that will last and um, investing in my wardrobe. So anyway, I'm really excited about these shoes and we'll definitely um, post some pics on Instagram once I start wearing them so you can see how I style them. And last but not least, my handbag favorite for this month has to be my Linear Soft Tote. And I have this in the chestnut color. I have been using this pretty much every day nonstop since I got it. I love everything about this bag. It is so beautiful. I have actually since sold my YSL tote. Um, I loved that tote, but it was starting to lose its structure and I had been thinking about getting a black tote. And when I got this tote, I love it so much, I decided to order the black one. So um, I have not yet received it, but um, I am just so in love with this bag. I love the quality of the leather. I love the style. I love the size. I love that it has a magnetic closure on the top. I love the interior. I mean, there is no detail about this bag that I don't love. Um, I think it is just a perfect work bag. It has just enough structure that I think it's going to um, kind of just work with everything. And I, it really suits my style and my size. I am quite petite and this is a pretty small tote bag compared to some of my others. And um, the quality of the leather is just amazing. And this bag looks so great when it's stuffed. Right now it's empty, but when I have things in it, it looks even better, um, which I find with a lot of my tote bags, they kind of get distorted, especially if they are made of canvas or a lighter weight leather. Um, I know my Everlane tote is a little bit thinner in, it, uh, the leather is a little bit thinner and it's not quite as, um, I guess durable as this one and this beautiful kind of grained leather is just it just looks so super luxe and um, for the price I do not think you can get a better tote on the market I am just obsessed with it so you're gonna hear me talking a lot about this tote and hopefully soon I will have the black one to show you but I am just in love with it and that is all of my October favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I thank you all for watching and hope you all have a great day. Bye.